Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, shapes, and sizes. I'd like to welcome you to the webcast from Nerd Enterprises Incorporated for April 22nd, 2009. Happy Administrative Professionals Day. Each of the last three Wednesdays has been a special day. Look at this, my hair is having a good hair day. April 1st was a Wednesday, and that, of course, was April Fool's Day. April 15th was a Wednesday, so it's not each of the last three, but you know what I mean. April 15th was Tax Day, and everybody got to pay their taxes. It was just wonderful. And now here we are, a week after Tax Day, and it's Administrative Professionals Day. Isn't that exciting? I think it's terribly exciting. Not terrible, but terribly exciting. And what I would like to do is offer you something extremely special, something that's going to change your life forever. Because this might be the first year that you, as a business owner, might remember Administrative Professionals Day and what you can do in honor of Administrative Professionals Day is you can go to www.centurycityflowermart.net that's Century City Flower Mart let me blow this up for you a little bigger we're gonna supersize it that's Century City Flower Mart centurycityflowermart.net here's their home page it's owned by my friend Annette and she's wonderful and she'll do wonderful things for you and most importantly your administrative professional will love you for having remembered and honored and cherished them on this special day of Administrative Professionals Day and in honor of Administrative Professionals and for that matter, all those people out there who help keep us more organized, help keep us centered, help make sure that our businesses are running smoothly and without any issues, I decided to bring you yet another tip on a software program that I use every single day that deals with how to stay more organized. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I present to you Microsoft OneNote. And here's an example of a way that I use it that helps me keep organized in terms of the to-do lists. Now here is a kind of sample copy of what I actually use every single day. And I have it broken up into four quadrants. At the top left is what I'm immediately doing today. Here's today's schedule. This is what I'm going to be working on. <clears throat> Just below that is what I call the pipeline. These are things that I want to do. They don't have to get done today immediately. And little by little, I'll take an item from here and I'll say, okay, actually this QuickBooks class has already been recorded. I, I can take this off. But I can control X here and come up into the immediate and control V to paste it in. And now I am ready to do this thing. So it goes from the pipeline to the immediate thing to do. And then, of course, once it's done there, I can actually just delete it. It's finished. Now, if you're really visually oriented, and lots of us are, what you can do is you can highlight this whole thing, and you can press Control on the numeral one. Numeral one. While you're holding the Control key down. And OneNote gives you these little check boxes. And you can check them off as you get things done. Now, I kid around a lot about this kind of stuff, but the reality is it's very powerful because, all kidding aside, you get a sense of accomplishment when you have a list of things like this as you check them off. I know from my own direct experience, when I get something done and I can go to this list and check it off, it feels good. It's like a pick-me-up. It's like, yeah, I got that done. I can take that deep breath, that sigh of relief that says, ah, you know, I got it done. Thank goodness. Now I can move on to the next thing. <coughs> and having this laid out like this also gives me assurance that I'm on top of things. And if somebody calls me up and says, hey, I need you to do X, Y, and Z, or if I get an email that needs to be dealt with right away, I can, as I showed in a recent webcast, I can export that email right into OneNote. And for that matter, I can hyperlink something from here 
to another place in OneNote or directly to a document or any number of other things. Now at the top right you'll see is where I keep track of phone calls. This is supposed to say Smith. And isn't that great? It's got the same kind of spell checking capabilities as Microsoft Word because it's a Microsoft product. And you can say all you want about Microsoft, but the fact of the matter is they create these things that really make our lives easier. So up here, I've got to call this guy. He changed his codes. I've got to get his updated username and password. And then this is just uh, somebody I have to call back later. And then down on the bottom right is kind of other follow-up notes. Now I'll show you another really cool thing about OneNote that it does. Let's say I get a call right now while I'm doing this webcast and I need to just take quick notes. I don't have time to sit there and go to the right section in OneNote to figure out where to go to take the notes. It has what's called a side note window which is really like a little post-it note. And I click that and it gives me this window and I could start taking notes. Record webcast. Make sure it's less than 10 minutes so I can put it on YouTube. And that's right, folks. We're on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash nerd enterprises. Very exciting. Very exciting. So this is how I kind of keep my daily tasks organized. And right now this has a setting where it's pinned down so it's always on top. But I can uncheck that little thumbtack and now it won't always be on top. But of course it's over here on the side where my taskbar is. And uh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. That's about it. So this is a great way to keep organized. I often talk about Microsoft OneNote and it's because it's really uh, helped me. It's really helped me stay organized and lots of my clients and friends and family ask me questions about how do I manage so much because I do manage a lot and how do I stay organized and this is it. This is your answer. So don't forget, go to centurycityflowermart.net and get those flowers. Don't be one of those losers who forgets to get flowers for the people who help and support them and make their businesses run so well. And don't think they won't notice if you forget. They'll notice. They always notice. They always notice. Besides the fact that they shouldn't have to notice. You should just do it. Just do it. Go to centurycityflowermart.net. Remember, they keep you organized. Show your appreciation. Let them know that you notice everything that they do and everything that they represent to you. Make sure they know that you know how important they are because they are important very important very 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 important and that's about all I got check back with us next week for another webcast visit us on the forum nerdenterprise.com forward slash forum for more great webcasts have an absolutely fantastic day